You know what I'm Check it out now. Oh, hell no, nah, bruh. Now, Chief Keith, he pulled up to New York City. I'm not saying he was looking for 6 9 but he was in the vicinity. However, 6 9 definitely left to L.A. I don't know why, but Chief Keith was on the scene. Now, we all know that they're kind of in some type of feud recently. We saw that 6 9 just dissed Chief Keith, and 6 9 saying, yo, I pulled up to L.A. He should have been in L.A., and Chief Keith, who lives in L.A., said, nigga, I pulled up to NYC. However, this morning, I have to report the news that somebody tried to assassinate Chief Sosa, okay? Apparently, after a heavy night of partying, he was returned to his hotel at the W, and somebody bust a few shots at him, and we all know a Chirac Savage, a couple shots ain't nothing but to shoot at Chief Keith Baphomet, one of the leaders in the war in Chirac, a nigga who is never lacking, always clapping? Oh, my God. Listen, man. All I got to say, and by the way, the reports are coming out to say uh, the gunmen or two gunmen with hoodies on shot at Chief Keith. The bullets went into like the W sign or whatever. And basically, I got to say that this is nothing but an L. OK, y'all shot at the W sign, but y'all took an L because I don't know if y'all was trying to kill Keith or just trying to like deface the building. But I hope this has nothing to do with his current feud with 6 9 I'm really hoping that. I'm really praying that because that's not good for hip hop. And by the way, it's New York City. If you don't know where the W is, the W is in a main part of New York City where cops are definitely infested. And if you're doing this type of shit, you give not a fuck about your freedom or life. Now, let me get on to what people are talking about online. The fuckery, okay? A lot of people are saying, well, here's the thing. People are saying, well, Chief Keefe, he about that life. And of course, Kashi, he's the rainbow clown. Keep telling y'all. Been telling y'all. Chief Keith, he bought that life. But 6ix9ine, whether you think he's about that life or not, there's a lot of niggas with him that are very much about that life. Let's keep in mind him and Casanova. Reportedly, shots got fired twice, okay? Reportedly, he's not backed down from anybody, including Jay Prince. Reportedly, he, even with Chief Keith, he's not backing down. And again, shots are fired, okay? Now, only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to warn 6ix9ine again. My nigga, every time gunshots get fired with somebody that you have a beef with, yes, you might be proving to the internet that you really with the shits. But keep in mind, if niggas online don't like you, nothing you do will ever convince them otherwise. What you are doing, if you're any way involved with this, is that you're setting up a case for the NYPD to tie you into conspiracy. They're going to put up all your beefs. They're going to say... He's beefing with these niggas, and then these shots got fired. And if they can tie the person, if they catch people to you, they're going to put you in a conspiracy charge or a RICO charge, okay? Where maybe they're going to try to say you ordered somebody to get shot. Not good. And I hope he really takes heed to this. If he's not involved, he should be coming out to say, that got nothing to do with me. Actually, this is the reason why you should squash beef. In my personal opinion, him and Casanova squash beef because cops was going to lock up either one of them or both. So I'm hoping that this doesn't get too violent. And I'm hoping that Chief Keith realizes, Chief, bro, listen. Don't worry about 6ix9ine. 6ix9ine got a bunch of niggas with him that they not for play play just like your niggas ain't for play play. I hope if you in New York, you're being safe and you're not just running around the streets thinking nothing will happen to you because obviously this is different. No, you say you're going to blow New Jersey up and you run through New York, but be careful how you ride through New York because 6ix9ine is out here getting paid and he's getting a lot of niggas on his payroll or around him paid as well and they'll do anything for him. Be safe. In these streets. Again, comment box. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe. This is an unusual story. Usually we hear about the Chirac niggas doing the clapping or doing the shooting. This time they're being shot at. And it's Chief Keith. Man, protect Chief Keith, man. Chief Keith will live in legend at 22. Plus he rolled with Lil Reese and them. Um, Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Jackie Demix. I'm up.